G'day mate, Simon, VA7BIX. Alrighty guys, we're about to do a live stream. Uh, we're doing the grey line, but beforehand I thought I'd do a quick video for what it's worth. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails and messages about, hey, I wanna see the tape measure antenna uh, set up in real time. Also, what I'll probably do is speed through some of the process, but basically just to give you an overview of how I do it, how quickly and efficient and easy it is to deploy and the time now is 20 past two and I start live streaming at three o'clock. So I'm completely relaxed. I've got everything here and I'll just give you a quick overview of what we've got and then we'll set it up. All right, guys. Alrighty, guys. So what we've got here is the I've got my block that I use with the two by six tread, and I just put a bit of copper wire just around here, just to hold the tape measure upright. It's pretty, it's pretty hokey, but it kind of works. Just so, uh, just sort of keeps it in place. And today, this is the inaugural test run of this guy here. Let me just get this coax out of the road of this guy here. So what I did, guys, is I got a three eight twenty four thread two inch bolt and basically drilled it through the bottom here. I've just taped over it and I countersunk the, the head so there's no conductivity or weirdness uh, grounding out on this. And then basically I just put a coupler on here. So the plan is what I'm gonna do is uh, I've, got, I've got my CB antenna here for 11 meters. I'm gonna try that with the radial system that I use for the tape measure. And then after that as well, or as well as that, I'm actually gonna use the alpha whip from alpha and use the same radial system. So then what I can do is get this resonant and then the tape measure resonant and quickly clamp from one to the other just to see which is better. So a bit of fun and let's get on with the, the, uh, the setting up here guys. And here we go. All right, first thing I always do is I fasten this block to here. So I just basically come right to the corner and I've got my big, my big clamp here. And I just, I usually go this way actually. And then I just clamp this onto here. So I get this set up, <sighs> give it a good honk. All right, so there we are, we're done. The next thing I do is I put that pole in there, the PVC pipe in there. What I've got here, guys, I've got a couple of these, I think you call them a drill spade. So I just got two, I mean, that's a half and that's a three eighths. And basically what I do here is I just put one in there and the other in the other side. And I just hammer these in just to give it some, I always have, I always have these with me too. and just hammer those in, just to give it some stability. And we're done. And the next thing we're going to do is the fishing rod. So what I've got here is, here's my fishing rod, guys. Get rid of the radials, I'll put them just down here. So I've actually, I haven't really found any issues with having a couple of runners like this um, uncovered, but I tried to cover up most of them and anything that could, could, could conduct, I just basically put a, I put a cover over it or just taped it up. 
and then there we go. Most important thing, don't forget your ball of string. So the ball of string, we want to be going from the inside to the out to connect to the tape measure. So I just run that through the top run, or the top runner like so, and then I pull this back. Like so, and we're pretty much ready to elevate. And then what I do, I've got the fishing rod here. Let's run some line down here like so. There we go. Beautiful. Once I've done that, I've untwisted it. So the lead, the lead line is coming straight down. And what I do around here is I just simply, I put a little uh, bollard there guys, just an ordinary wood screw, just to, just to be able to tie the string off. It sort of really helps just to give it, uh, take the weight off the, the brake on the tape measure. And here I just do a simple, just an ordinary simple granny knot or reef knot, whatever you like, like so. And then basically we are done. Now I almost forgot the most critical thing. See how it's got a bit of a list to it? So I always put a guy wire on it. So, so what I do is I just use the one string and I've got this bright orange paracord that's very, very handy. And see how that just pulled out really easy without tangling guys? Because I did the figure eight. I did the figure eight when I wrapped it up, just makes it a breeze. And then I've just got one of these ordinary ground spikes or a big nail, anything. Now, if you're in the desert or it's a rocky environment, it's going to be harder to put one of those ground spikes into the earth. There's no question or in summertime. And then what I do here, there we go. And I know here that the winds are typically, the winds that are um, predominant in the winter are the northerly. So I'm gonna make this uh, a windward, a windward stay and I'm gonna face it north. All right, so what have we got? There's the, there's the mast. There's the tape measure all ready for action. Over here is the stay going into the ground. Just the one stay on the windward side. The next thing to do is set up the radials. And so guys, here it is here. I've got 16 feet of wire. And if you're interested, I did a short video on this dowel. So this dowel is six feet long. So I've got two pieces that are six feet long. And one of them I cut into half, so three feet. And I just drilled a little hole here, put one of these I don't even know what you call these, like a cable tie on each end so I can fold the legs out and put them into the ground. And it keeps them really orderly. So I can basically just unclip this off the terminal block. And we know that this goes onto the antenna and I just clamp it onto anything. Uh, I'm just gonna clamp it onto the, uh, the bracket there, the, the, one of these drills, drill blades drill spades and then I just unwind simply unwind like this and one of the other really cool things about this um, radial system guys is that if it all gets tangled up you don't need to you don't need to adjust any of this this is all fine the tangles are going to be down towards the feed point so then what you can essentially do is just take take your wire out of the out of the feed point and uh, just untangle them. There we go. 
Okay, so there's our radial system. I can just open up the wires like so. And the time is 2.32. So I've been at this for basically 10 minutes, going very slowly. And then there we go. There's our antenna system. So we've got all the radials set up as a soccer goal coming up to the feed point all of the counterpoise going to one side the radiating element goes into the other side this is going to go into my coax with the choke and into the radio and what i'm going to do today for fun is i'm going to put the cb antenna on here onto this uh, 3824 coupler that i put on so that I can basically, for fun, go from there, go from that antenna, oh, over to the tape measure, just to see which one's better. So there you go. So that's the plan today, guys. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's get on, uh, let's set up the radio and see if we can get things resonant. Guys, so I had to race back to the car because it just started to rain. And check this out. So the CB antenna, bottom end of uh, the CB band, uh, I can't make it any shorter without cutting it. So it's not gonna work for 10 meters, but look at this. I've got the alpha whip exactly, basically the same height as the tape measure. And right now we're on the, right now we're on the tape measure and I'll turn the tuner off. We are basically 1.1 to one. And I'm just going to flick this over to here. And let's see what the SWR is here now. There you go, one to one. All right, guys, this has been awesome getting this antenna set up. It didn't take long at all, and it's a beauty, and it's one to one. I'm going to have a lot of fun today. So if you can't watch the live stream, check out the replay and leave a comment below. And I'm going to be, it's going to be, I'm curious to see how the, how the 17 foot whip compares to the tape measure. All right, guys, that's a quick uh, A to Z or A to Z setup of uh, getting, the, getting the tape measure antenna up and deployed and ready to rock. All right, guys, see, so there you go. I even had time to run back to the car and it's quarter to three, so 15 minutes and no stress. So you can do the build, you can do the setup in easily 10 minutes or less. So she's a beauty. All right, guys, take care. 7-3, hit that like and subscribe button. You're awesome. See you on the air. Woohoo.